Um, so let's go back in time to your career. You started in the music business and the internet business, how? So I did an undergrad degree uh, in computer science, and um, I got lucky. I had a, I, I was working at the Indiana University Music Library, and this brilliant, the guy who ran the music library had this crazy idea in 1991 that instead of dropping vinyl on records and having people sit at a long table with headphones to right. listen to, to the, um, whatever piece they had to hear for M100 or whatever, right. it's all going to be computers and we're going to, you know, we're, we're going to stream it to workstations throughout the library. Whoa. And this, you know, so I got that job as a work study job. It was not my idea, but I, you know, I was, I got the job because I'm a gigantic music fan. What year fan. is this? 1991. The end of 91. And so what are you, you ripping wave files? What was yep. the file type at that time? Wave files, MP2s, which you had to have a Turtle Beach sound card to, to play. Right, I mean you could, back then people don't realize, most computers did not have a CD-ROM drive, and if no, they did, yet. it wasn't connected to the music card. Right, Correct. it was just yeah, data. Yeah. yeah, no, there was. You and, couldn't oh, play that, music in it. And the early days of those CD cards, there was actually an analog out. There was an analog out right. that went back into your music board, right? Yeah, exactly. And so then you would be like, it would almost be like just putting a play, uh, a, a Walkman into the back of your machine. Exactly. Yeah. You had, to, you had this like special cable. I still cable. have some MP3s that I ripped that way. Wow. <laughs> Which was, it was like real time ripping, but it was actually yeah. just recording from the CD to the hard Insane. drive. So stupid. Right. Um, but yeah, so it was pretty. It was a very cool project. I built the whole thing on Next. Oh. Um, and Next under, Computers, Steve Jobs Computer Next Company, when he got kicked out of I show you Apple. This. Oh wow, you have a Next tattoo. That is awesome. <laughs> Has Steve Jobs ever seen that? I don't think he's seen it. Wait, but wait put that back up for a second. <laughs> Walt, we got to get that on camera. Walt, Walt Mossberg. Look right there. That Walt, is a god. Damn, I almost feel like we should get a freestanding. I'm gonna look at it. That is awesome. Circa, circa 1991, that tattoo is my first. I mean, if tattoo. you have an Apple, you don't have an Apple tattoo. I don't have an Apple tattoo. Right, That's I was about to better say, than an Apple tattoo. I was about it's to say having an, Apple app, tattoo. having an Apple tattoo is a bag move, but having a next, that is winning. It was. It, thank you. The the um, but for. For me, so I, I love Next. I mean, look, yeah. if, you, if you do any OSX programming, the window is still NS window. Yeah. It's Next Step underneath the underneath your sure. OSX machine. So I, I was a huge Next fanatic, obviously. Right. And uh, you still have your Next system? I don't. You know, I gave the last one away when I moved a few years ago. I had a cube and it didn't work. The mouse wow. didn't work, and I, you know. What was that machine like when you first got it? What, what made it so special? When did it come out? Like, is that? 90? They came out around, well, I actually think they came out in the late 80s, but we right. didn't get them at the university until around 90. And, what did they cost, and what was different about them? Well, I, so I'm trying to remember what they cost, because I actually had on my desk at the music library, I had a, a, a slab, they called it. Yeah. You know, there were the cubes, which had a, an optical drive. Wow. And they had, one of the cool things about them is they had a built-in DSP, which was, which was unique for the time. Digital sound. D digital signal processor. Signal processor. Yeah, so you could actually do some very cool audio and video mixing ah, out of the box. Right. And they had great APIs for it. You know, no, no surprise, but they, yeah. they, um, it was, they were beautiful machines. Right. Um, they were first monochrome, then they did have some color ones. They were in the, th the $5,000 range, yeah. if I recall correctly. They were like Sun workstations at that yeah. time. You know, like it was they comparable. Had six, they had 68030 chips in them, so they were right. not super fast, right. but they, they were they were beautiful. I loved it as a nerd, at, just for the the, the APIs and the. I mean, I spent you know my undergrad building little audio mixers and whatnot under Next. Wow. Step. So what happened though is I built this. Sorry to get way off nerd. No, topic, no, I, I have to. When you when you go that deep into nerddom, <laughs> I have to revel in it. I I love reminiscing about those. Oh days. man, it was great. So you've been watching this week in startups. To watch the full episode, click here. To check out some other shows from this weekend, click here.